quant you can say just five major chapters are there if you will if you will read very properly or if you will study very properly then after some time you will feel these two are almost similar numbers and algebra almost similar only representation are different then these two especially algebra part 1 which is you can say extension of counting related to counting means pnc and other related chapters you must read with numbers means once you are combining numbers and algebra part 1 this will be your best base for cat preparation and if you are adding arithmetic part 1 that will deal with all like percentage profit and loss related this chapter partnership these all except speed time distance and related chapter that i kept in arithmetic part 2 and i kept in your block 3 then here first you can say your um, uh, first target is to become comfortable in numbers to understand the numbers first we must know how many topics are there in numbers and how many sub topics are there in number how many type of questions generally asking and what is the recent trend recent trend i will tell you last few years direct question you will find less but indirect question you will find plenty even direct question also today i will show you many of the question you will find that will be sitters if you are good in numbers and if you are able to apply so many you can say so many uh, not so many if you are able to apply little common sense then many of the problem will become easy many of the problem i will show you today and that is your cat questions which are uh, which are designated as a tough level or you can say uh, average to tough level it is not i am telling easy questions it is moderate to tough questions if you are applying little common sense and observation it will become easy i will show you and one question we will able to think or we will able to solve in variety of way at least minimum 3 to 4 way if one question you are able to think in 3 to 4 ways that is one of the real preparation testing that is real testing of your preparation meaning is you are understanding the concept of that particular subject in very depth way if you are able to understand in depth then automatically you will able to think rethink or you can say in uh, other way or another way if you are not in depth very clear then it is very difficult to think in more than one way it will be just like a uh, rotten way once you have uh, just uh, just uh, understood anything you will not able to think in another way but one problem if you are able to think in more than two way or more than three way that is real testing of your understanding any of the preparation irrespective of cat or irrespective of any of any any exam if you are preparing if questions you are able to think in more than one way that is real testing then this is your you can say these five major chapters are there always try to try to study numbers and algebra almost together and afterwards arithmetic these three you can say most priority afterwards you can give priority for geometry because geometry very fixed type of questions are asked fixed type it cannot go beyond that much innovative question will not there much innovative question will only frame if geometry you are adding with the numbers or algebra if numbers in geometry you are uh, merging and you are framing the question then only innovative question will be there otherwise core geometry questions are having certain limitation then you give next priority and after what few few sub, uh, few chapters are there in modern math that also much important because in recent times many of the questions are asked that can fall down under the modern math because we will not able to distinguish it is particularly from which chapter then today session just will uh, describe little bit more about the numbers just i will give you the idea how many sub topics and how many different type of concepts are there that you must know during your cat preparation i cannot teach each and every each and every sub topic or each and every concept in one session that is not possible otherwise you will not learn anything then i will give you just idea what are the things are there under numbers and afterwards we'll see few questions how we have to think we have to just check our thinking process because thinking process is most important if you are solving you are you are getting correct answer that is one of the parameter but many of the times you are able to think in proper way maybe you are not getting correct answer that will rectify but your thinking cannot be rectified once you are started to think in wrong way it is very difficult to change 
it is very difficult to change now always give focus on way of thinking if any problem we are encountered then how we are thinking how we are approaching the numbers you can say first thing numbers basic very basic thing whatever you are studied in you can say middle school afterwards types of number and its properties that is you can say it looks like very easy like odd number even number sum of odd number sum of even number prime numbers composite number complex number all looks very easy isme kya padhna hai generally we will feel it it is very easy but based on all these numbers word based question many of the times in cat it is asked and you can anticipate in future also question will be that much bulky finally concept will be sum of odd number after reading all the things you will find concept is sum of natural number or sum of a square of natural number then types of numbers and afterwards its representation real number line properties of numbers and after one number pattern and ap here you can include lcm and hcf and related to all models lcm models hcf model these you can say just very fundamentals afterwards real things will come where conceptually you will feel little challenging because just distinguishing all the concept then from here this point you will feel it is little challenging to understand the concept and to distinguish different type of problems and how to apply the concept like first your challenging under challenging concept will be your power cycle means unit digit and its cyclicity many of the times it is it looks very simple or it is very simple itself but application wise it is very wide very wide application and you will find n number of questions or n number of application of power cycle then uh, your challenge will start from here you must care proper care to understand revise each and every concept related to power cycle questions will be asked based on unit digit divisibility and remainder group of 10 right most non zero integer this is you can say typical four type of questions are falling down under power cycle apart from that based on the power cycle concept variety of question will be framed and it will be asked in your mock test or actual actual cat next concept is coming that is divisibility all these area you must give proper effort to understand without any confusion means it should be very crystal clear you should not get any confusion because all these things are so basic if you will not understand properly or with clarity it will hamper your entire preparation because it is going to connect with all you can say every part of your uh, preparation divisibility here we are dividing mainly based on the remainder if remainder you are getting zero or you are getting plus minus plus one or you are getting minus one if remainder you are getting plus one then three and nine will come if you are getting minus one then we know it is seven eleven and thirteen we are using here triplet triplet concept and remainder zero we it will fall down two to the power n five to the power n and ten to the power n afterwards rule for other prime numbers between 13 to 50 up to 13 you have you have done here based on the remainder minus 1 but if it is more than 13 then mainly we have to focus on prime numbers which are more than 13 but less than 50 in this slide whatever prime numbers are falling down you must take a note how we will able to find the remainder or how we will check the divisibility then uh, numbers will be 17 19 23 29 31 37 41 43 and 47 out of these 37 is and 41 most important among all these numbers whatever falling down in this slab between 13 to 50 and very frequently question used to ask based on 37 and 41 because uh, this uh, cyclicity is very simple this is sum of triplet and this is sum of fivelet other numbers it will become very bulky to check the divisibility then few times you can expect but always you can't expect questions which will check divisibility by 17 19 23 or 29 or 31 like